What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here in my backyard because guess what? We have one of the sexiest drop tops currently available. This is a 2021 new Aston Martin Vantage Roadster. But before we get into this 007 James Bond shaken but not stirred approved sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. Aston Martin, that fabled brand from England, so much rich history, not only with their lineup of vehicles, but with also the racetrack, including the coveted 24 Hours Le Mans, which they did win in 1959 with none other than the Texan Carroll Shelby. Now, the great news is for 2021, they decided to take the Vantage, chop the top off, and you would think that you couldn't make a car even more beautiful? Yes, I think they have succeeded with this Roadster. Now, what's fascinating is that once upon a time, in a galaxy very far, far away, the Vantage actually was the top model in Aston's lineup. Since then, they did a little switcheroo, little change up. They made it the gateway. And I think that's very, very smart because they're bringing such a style and level of performance that really is gonna get people excited. So what I wanna do is I wanna dive into this Roadster and find out is this better than a 911 convertible, a C8 convertible, is this the convertible that you need to be getting, that performance convertible sports car you need to be getting and driving and enjoying on a regular basis. Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, like I said, the styling, it really has a unique look to it. Now this particular color is called yellow tang. It's a nice bright metallic yellow, kind of shines like a metallic Twinkie in the Florida sun. Starting at the front of the business, you're gonna get that very, very small headlight housing. I love the way everything is blacked out on the interior. You're gonna get that multi-LED beam, LED daytime running lamps, and turn singles. Drop your way down, we have the optional full carbon fiber appearance package. This whole splitter and front section is full carbon fiber. Coming across the nose, look at it. Look at it glitter, like that sparkly Twinkie, the ultimate Twinkie to behold. We have the Aston Martin badge. Lots of history, the British racing green. These are still hand painted at the factory before they are gently placed on the nose of this vehicle. One thing I wanna point out with this carbon fiber surround of a grill is notice the shape. This shape is synonymous with Aston Martin. I don't care what model you're looking at, you're gonna get that overall shape. And this car in its coupe form won both the GTLM Pro and the GTE AM class at Le Mans last year with the Vantage. Really a lot of rich history and we're making new history and that performance. I love the wire mesh grill, the shape, the style, nice low slung hood. And speaking of hoods, we jump up onto that hood, you're gonna get a little bit of a bulge there. Of course power, of course performance gives you that bulge. We have the optional bonnet. We can't just call this a hood. This is a bonnet, we have the optional carbon fiber inserts for those heat extractors. It's gonna drag that hot air out from underneath the hood. And guess what? Coming around the bend, what are we looking at on this 2021 Vantage Roadster? These are optional snowflake wheels. Yes, that is the name of it. Love the machine aluminum, the gloss black. You're gonna have those bright banana yellow six piston calipers with the Aston Martin script that's gonna clamp down on those rotors, massive rotors, bigger than the size of the pizzas that you ate last night. Yes, you back there eating that pizza, it's larger than your pizza. It's got the slotted rotors and fully ventilated two-piece that's gonna help cut down on dissipating the heat and also give you the quicker steering. We have adaptive dampers, all four corners. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what do we, what do we got up front when we're looking at this wheel? It's a 20-inch wheel in diameter, 255 up front, 40 series sidewall that's gonna give us quicker steering. My one zonk is, I wish that this one had the carbon ceramic rotors. The reason why is you can see the amount of brake dust just all over our banana yellow calipers there. If you had carbon ceramic brake rotors, you're gonna get better braking and you don't have the brake dust, which is a nice touch. Coming into that hood with the beautiful fender, look at that, look at that carbon fiber. It looks like it's right off of a great white shark. They shaped that perfectly to drag the heat out. Coming down the side, no roof, and she's looking good carbon fiber on the mirror caps. I like the way they did not black out the window frame, the windshield frame here. I'm glad they went with the sparkly yellow tang. I don't know about you, when I was a kid, tang wasn't yellow, it was orange. If you're drinking yellow tang, somebody might have did something weird to it, but 
Yellow tang of a color there, nice metallic. You have the carbon fiber, side sill extension. Everything is handcrafted in the wind tunnel. You can see how the air is gonna channel towards the rear, and I love that Coke bottle shape. I just wanna rub my hands all over this car, especially when we get to the rear. We got Pirelli P0s, of course. We're looking at 295, so we went from 255 to 295. You got a little bit smaller banana, but that's still a Brembo four-piston caliper. Nice large rotor, slotted and ventilated. Of course, we have a limited slip diff to get the power to the ground. And then one of my favorite things as we wrap around the back is without having the top, look at the way you could clearly see the body lines, especially coming off the doors into the rear fender. Look at that, look at that sexiness there. And then of course, the trunk area. I love the way it has this nice little dip and then a kick up. Don't have to have a big tabletop wing to have Thanksgiving Day turkey on. Keep it smooth, keep it sexy, keep it functional. Dropping our way down, we have the smoke black taillights, LED looking good. You have your Aston Martin badge, like I said, hand painted. And then of course we have the carbon fiber massive rear diffuser. My only zonk are the DOT required, Department of Transportation, those bumper rats, they need to go. They, they look like two zits, I don't, get them out of here. But what I do like is the quad tip exhaust, look at the diffuser, absolutely ridiculous. Looks like it's off of that GT, E Pro and GT Am race cars that raced at last year's Le Mans. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop that hood and see what's powering this Aston Martin. All right guys, we got the massive hood popped. And what I love about this bonnet is the fenders and everything rise right straight up. You can see those functional carbon fiber heat extractors. Remember that is an option, having it in carbon fiber. As we drop down though, you're gonna notice another option, that massive strut tower brace it looks like it's built from the London Bridge. But underneath that strut tower brace, you're gonna have that twin turbo V8. Now this is that connection that Aston Martin has with AMG. Yes, Mercedes AMG. You're looking at that four liter twin turbo V8, 503 horsepower, 505 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an eight speed automatic, zero to 60, get ready for this, 3.4 seconds zero to 107.6 seconds quarter mile is going to blaze by just like your vin diesel 11.6 seconds top speed 190 miles an hour mpgs 18 in the city 24 on the highway and the vehicle weighs 3850 pounds what i love about having this massive hood open is you can see everything the twin turbos up top that sexy heat shielding even the wires go into the shock top mounts that lets you know that you have that adaptive suspension. Really looking good. Oh, you think she looks good? Let's go ahead and fire up this Vantage Roadster and hear what it sounds like. guys come on in to this british sports car such an iconic brand i know you're saying to yourself well joe i kind of forget about aston martin from time to time boy oh boy though i'm really falling in love with this vantage roadster how much is it so the way that this one is optioned with the yellow tang the carbon fiber the snowflake wheels and everything else that it has you're looking at msrp of two hundred one thousand dollars let's see what you get for the money let's go to those swan opening doors to the door panel all leather that bright yellow stitching pops nicely the leather even the way they have that door handle pull there all leather nicely done the quality the feel the fit the finish the carbon fiber it's all there very very unique and i think the key is if you're going aston martin you got to go with a color like this to really make it pop now going from the door panel to the dash love the leather all over the place i am going to zonk the ac vents they are made out of just plastic. They should have been carbon fiber on a particular vehicle this price point. Infotainment is sort of a second thought, an afterthought, but that's not what this vehicle is about. It's an eight inch infotainment system screen. Is it a touch screen? You can touch it, it doesn't do anything. You're gonna have to use the mouse pad and the direct drive control knob, but you do have Apple CarPlay, your navigation. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a reverse. Cameras are really clear. You got 360 view. Look at that, that vehicle driving by. Really like that technology there. I'm gonna put it back in the park. And then as we drop down, you do have a plethora of buttons, but I'm the type of person, I like the buttons. I don't want just a touch screen and you can't control anything. So you have your fan blower switch, 
all the different switch gear, ventilated seats and heated seats, which is a nice welcome. This is gonna control, these buttons are gonna control the array of gears for that eight speed. You do have that beautiful Aston Martin stop, stop, start, stop button in the center. Love the nice touches. There's that direct drive control knob and that mouse pad, carbon fiber, even the little knee bump pads with the stitching. This is what you get at this price point. Seat controls are inboard, and I like that instead of being on the doors or the bottom of the seats, easy to get to. Two cup holders, and I am gonna zonk it because there's no carbon fiber lid. Where's my carbon fiber lid? There's no lid at all. There's your key fob. It's a little on the large side, but you know what? If you got the large amount of money to buy this one, you get a large key fob with that Aston Martin badge. Nothing on the back. Put it back. Nice leather. Open that up. You could easily put three Twinkies in there to match the color of this vehicle. And if you need more storage space, you got it. Right there in between the seats. Put a couple boxes back there for the long journey for the trip. And then the seats. Look at this. One piece back. The leather. The Vantage name. The stitch work. The bolstering. Absolutely phenomenal in here. And I have the top up for a reason because when you're looking at these seats, you're gonna get the support and the comfort. But with the top up being six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom. You could put a helmet on for your track day, but why don't you come over to this race inspired flat bottom steering wheel and these surfboard paddles. I wanna show you behind the wheel at this vantage. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. That carbon fiber, I love this simple but elegant sill panel. Look at that, built in England with the Vantage name, seats feel great, steering wheel. Like I said, race car inspired, leather, flat bottom. It's almost like a D-shape on the C8 Corvette, but just a little bit different. You got that beautiful Aston Martin badge, a little bit of the gray, and then check out the paddles. They're actually mounted to the steering column so that no matter where you are in the turn, you're always gonna be able to hit those surfboard style paddles to go up and down the eight speed, and then the dash, is just a squ exquisite. Love the clear TFT digital display. You got your different modes. Opens up that active exhaust. Look at the way it changes going to track mode. You got the red tag, all the information, and you can adjust the suspension separately. So you could actually be in Sport Plus and be in track mode and have it set up like that. The leather, the only thing that this is really missing is a head up display, but it does have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. I wanna show you how this drop top drops and then we'll get into the trunk because I'm ready to go on throttle. All right guys, one of the things about this 007 approved sports car is that you could fill the trunk with some stuff because it actually has a usable trunk. We're gonna hit that trunk release, real simple, lift it right up. You'll notice the amount of room that we have. So how much are we looking at? You're looking at around seven cubic feet of space, easily gonna get at least one carryover and a duffel bag in there for those getaways. But this allows this sports car to be more of a usable sports car and still keep that sexy look. It's kind of hard to give you a big trunk and then it kills the lines of the vehicle, but look at that beautiful shape. If you're ready, I'm ready. We have the key fob. Let's take this Aston Martin Roadster for an on-throttle spin. All right, guys, here we go. Drop it like it's hot. I hit the button on the driver's side door. Makes sense. Windows go down. And then now that top, look how fast that is. Yes, I know a lot of people would want a folding hard top, but that's gonna add too much weight and that top just dropped so fast. But let's get to the trunk because speaking of fast, I wanna show you how this Vantage accelerates. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Aston Martin Vantage. Loving this top-down experience. Brought you out to where the twisty bits are because obviously we know the level of fit and finish in here. I showed you all the fine touches but we got the top down because I want to manually shift with these surfboard paddles through that gearbox with 503 twin turbo V8 power. But if you're ready, I'm ready. We're in track mode. Suspension is in sport plus. On throw, here we go, yeah! Phenomenal, look at this. Steering input so precise. Yeah. Woo! Nice. It's so amazing for being real wheel drive 
how it gets the power to the ground. The turbos being that bi-turbo setup really spool up nicely and you're not really waiting for that boost to kick in. And overall, the drivability, they've done a phenomenal job by chopping the top off. We brought you the coupe. I'll leave that review, like I said, at the end of this one, but just very, very special car. Are there cars faster? Yes. Are there cars that are faster, that are cheaper? Sure. But if you're looking for a unique experience, this definitely separates you from the rest of the pack, even the stuff coming from AMG. It really does have a unique personality. All right, guys, here we go. Launch control activate and release. Yeah! On the brakes. Here we go. Get ready. Through this left-hand band. Look at the balance. Look at the balance. Decreasing radius. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I need my freaking towel. I forgot my towel at home. I'm telling you right now, the balance in the chassis, the way it puts the power down as you exit out of the turn, and the feedback, the communication you get through this beautiful, basically, a D-shaped steering wheel. I know the C8 has a D-shaped steering wheel, but this thing, flat bottom, and those massive metal panels allow you, no matter where you are in the turn, to make sure you're up shifting or down shifting at the right time. And I personally like the way they're bolted to the steering column. That's just my taste. Now, obviously, as you go triple digits, it does start to get a little noisy in here, but that's to be expected because it is a convertible. But what a unique experience. And that's what you're gonna get going to Aston Martin brand. You are 007 approved. So much rich history. Wins at the 24 hour Le Mans. It's all in this car. And then overall the operations, once you're in it for a while, you start to understand the buttons. It is a little button and switch heavy, but I'm okay with that. Cause I, I like the tactile feel of the switches and the buttons. Infotainment is sort of like an afterthought, but I tell you, where they got it right is collaborating with AMG, getting that four liter twin turbo V8 in there. And like I said, even though it's an AMG motor, still has a very, very unique personality. All right, guys, let's do some more twisty bits. I love this car. It's a great driving car, straight up and down, going down the highway, but it's even better in the twisty bits. Second gear, here we go. Oh, throttle, yeah! Love the sound. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Here we go. every single time and the more you drive it the more you feel good you feel really good you start to understand it I love the way that when you're in track mode the tech changes everything changes with the shift indicator lights I guess if it's missing something compared to the competition really it would be a head-up display that probably would be really really nice to see out the windshield but other than that, I'm liking the simplicity and the clarity of the instrumentation. All right, guys, thought I would do a run with the top up, of course. Launch control activated. Here we go, on throttle. Yeah! Still hearing that V8 front engine, baby. Look at this, ridiculous. Even with 
the convertible top up, you're just getting a little bit of wind noise, nothing crazy. Wow. I could do this all day long. I could drive this car all day long. This is, I, I really fell in love with the Vantage Coupe. I really did, and this convertible, especially in Florida here, really checks off a lot of the big boxes. But we're gonna put this top back down and have a little bit more twisty fun. So here we go. All right, guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. Launch control activate. Here we go, on throttle, yeah! Woo! Feeling good. themselves from the previous generations of the Vantage. It's interesting because like I said the Vantage once upon a time was at the top of the model lineup but now it is the gateway and boy what a gateway it is. But we're going to get back to where this all started and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys it's been one amazing day with this Aston Martin Vantage Roadster. I definitely got to thank Vanessa and everybody over at Aston Martin Americas for allowing us access to this 007 vehicle. I tell you, ever since they made that connection with AMG, that twin turbo V8, chopping the top off here in sunny Florida really gives you such a unique experience, but yet keeps the basics. I think if you're looking at a 911 C8 Corvette, you might want to take this Aston Martin for a spin because I'm telling you, yellow tang pops and it gets people's attention and that V8 is going to get your attention. But if you want to keep seeing these unique sports cars here on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's my 007 with that camera. She's shooting to kill every single time, and she killed it on this one. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.